Well, we are beginning a week-long series about the impact of warming temperatures here and around the world. Yeah, this is something that's impacting all of us. Let's bring in Chief Meteorologist Bill Kelly. Yeah, guys, and it is uh, pretty remarkable. I want to start with a little perspective for you. Here in Philadelphia, the average yearly temperature has gone up by nearly 4 degrees since 1970. And that warming trend, it's expected to continue. But up in the Arctic, the warming is even faster. Tonight, David Schechter explains how the warming up there can affect weather everywhere. Svalbard is the northernmost community in the world, which makes it home to the northernmost pub, the northernmost brewery. You guys make good beer. <laughs> and the northernmost cafe. New rule all coffee shops must have huskies. The Arctic is warming three to four times faster than the rest of the world. And that's why we're here. In Svalbard, they have these cold, deep ocean inlets. They're called fjords. And when I was here in early 2000s, the fjord out here froze. It doesn't anymore. Anna Schweblom is a meteorologist at the University Center in Svalbard. Why is it warming so much faster here than other places on the planet? Uh, I think the biggest thing is that we have the ice around here, especially over the ocean. So let's talk about sea ice. Anna is saying when ocean water is covered by ice and snow, most of the sun's rays bounce back into the atmosphere. That shields the water below from the heat of the sun. But in a warmer Arctic, ice and snow are melting. Now the sun can hit open water and heat it up. As the warmth spreads, it helps melt more snow and ice it's a loop that just keeps going. So if we start this sort of feedback process, it goes really quickly. So if, if it's warmer here at the pole, how does that affect me in Los Angeles or in Miami or something like that? We want it to be cold at the poles and we want it to be warm at the equator. And if you don't have that, you won't have the same type of weather patterns. Most of our weather in the US is dictated by something called the jet stream. Basically, it's fast-moving winds that travel horizontally high in the atmosphere. The jet stream is most stable when there's big differences in temperature between cold air and warm air. As the Arctic warms and the temperature difference shrinks, the jet stream can get wobbly and slow down. Emerging research suggests that may lead to slower weather patterns that stick around longer, potentially leading to more persistent cold and hot weather, even dry and wet weather. But if that balance is starting to change, then of course everything else will start to change as well. And we'll get a completely new type of normal, if you put it like that. Uh, and that's probably something the world isn't ready for. Dave is joining us now. So Dave, you went all the way up to Norway. Who was the most memorable person that you met up there? So Bill, uh, there was a scientist whose name was Jack. Uh, he took me on a helicopter to see the melting glaciers. It was an awesome and humbling sight. You'll see that later in the week. But he's an American who's been working in Svalbard for decades. And he really helped me understand that just in the scope of my own lifetime, Svalbard has warmed almost 14 degrees during the winter, which is faster than anywhere in the world. And it's almost hard to comprehend. Jack likes to say what happens in the Arctic doesn't stay in the Arctic, unlike Las Vegas. So that's what we're going to be talking about this week, how we are affected here by what's happening there, even though it seems so far away, it's totally interconnected. Yeah, it's, it's just remarkable. So we're looking forward to uh, the reports that you're going to be bringing us, and we appreciate everything that you're doing. David, we'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. His reporting from Norway continues with how dramatically those glaciers are melting in the Arctic and the dramatic impact that that has on the rising sea level. Guys, we'll mm. send it back over to you.